right, so here we are. We're gonna start practicing with our soldering. And this is what we're gonna do right before we get to do resistors. So whenever you have to solder, you're gonna look for clean copper. So my copper was dirty. You can see how some of these are darker. And I hit these with an eraser and a pencil and it worked out. So they're clean now. And now we're gonna rely on the flux and the kit, the rosin core solder to clean that up. So what we're gonna do is make sure it's steady. You guys should be starting with an empty board. I'm starting with one that has parts in already. And so I can give you some demonstrations. So just as before, we're gonna clean the soldering iron, make sure it's super shiny, a little, little flux on there. And then we're gonna solder these in. And this right here looks like it's a metal contact connecting to another metal contact, like a short circuit. I don't know why they would do that. It looks silly because these are the ones you need to practice. So you see these look just like that. These are shaped like that. So we're gonna practice on filling these in. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. I talked, so now it's not as shiny. We're gonna tin it some more. And now we're gonna add some more solder to it. We're gonna look for a bubble. And right here is my bubble on the bottom. So I'm gonna tilt this sideways. I'm gonna to touch this. I'm gonna add a little more solder just to get it on there now. Whoop, it's hot already. So we're gonna to touch it and both sides filled in already. All right, so perfectly clean solder. This is how fast it work. Bubble, touch together. One 1,000, two 1,000. I'm gonna to touch the metal, not the solder iron. Boop. And then we'll go to the other side. Touch the metal, not the solder iron. And when we take this away, it'll look, this doesn't look like a Hershey's Kiss yet because there's nothing in the middle. All right, so after we're done with our practice, we're gonna work on these resistors. Now, if you look, you'll see that this resistor has stripes. Let me see if I get the best focal point going. Okay, with the white background looks good. You can see that we have brown, black, orange, and gold. That's telling me a number value to these. Okay, so that gold stripe is going to tell us to turn it to the right because we have a key to look at to make sure we know what this is. Okay, and then this is how we'd work. Brown is one, 10 is zero. Uh, orange, I think, is a, a thousand, so you, it would be 10 times a thousand the 10,000 ohm resistor this is so this resistor needs to be soldered to the board and we are going to put it in this location there's one here and one there this one is really dirty it's not even shiny so let me just polish that up a little bit with my eraser you should not have any issues with that but you can see they're getting shinier and if they're not shiny it's really hard to solder just like the tip so now what we're gonna do we're gonna put this in there so you'll see if we flip it over, you can read the number, which one it is. And look, this one says it's a 10K. That's what I just calculated with the stripes. I'm gonna bend it gently like a horseshoe first. Then I'm gonna make sure the gold stripe is to the right. So whenever you see the fonts, I'll turn it this way, it should be to the right. If it's this way, we'll turn it to the right. So the 10K, I'm gonna slide it in there and then pull it from the other side till it's flush on the bottom. Okay, they could stick up a little bit, but they wanna be mounted down flat. So you can't push them around. So flip it over, I'm holding it right now. And if you bend them over like old TV antenna, like little portable TVs, it'll hold itself pretty steady. And then you find a steady place for it to look, to work at. Now I'm gonna put it up here so you can see better. And I'm just gonna be sideways, so this might wiggle. So again, clean that solder iron, tin it up. This one, we are going to need the very tip, just the pointy part, the pointy part of the tip. We're gonna get a bubble on there. So I'm leaning, see that bubble right there? I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna to touch the copper ring and the resistor's lead sticking up. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. I'm touching the metal, not the solder iron. And then boom. Okay, so there's one, it looks like a Hershey's Kiss with the wrapper sticking out. We're gonna put another bubble so I know where it's going, touch the two together. I'm pushing, but not super hard, but I'm definitely pushing down. And then touch it, and away it goes. So now that that's done, I'm gonna double check my work, flip it over. So now you can see, it looks like a Hershey's Kiss. 
case they should not. Okay, so we just got done with our resistors. We soldered it in, we have our Hershey's Kiss Sheep, and now we are going to get these leads off so it's not dangerous and it's not gonna short out. So to do this, we're gonna use angle cutters, and if you look at the angle that the cutter edge is, and it keeps your fingers off the board, so I'm gonna turn it sideways. I am going to try to cut a little bit of the solder off with the lead, and I'm gonna set it up so that my fingers don't get cut or scrape the bottom and then just push down and we're gonna cut it as close as possible. If we do it right, it won't look like a cactus. See, that one looks like a cactus. I'm using an old board that somebody else left behind. So this one too, I'm gonna to push down flat so you can see a different angle. And now perfectly flat, it's not sharp anymore. So I'm gonna go back and take care of this one while I'm at it. These are dull pliers, but they still...